What's up guys, it's Alex from Maximum Charge and I have a confession to make. I am officially one of those believers of manifesting things through your thoughts and your words. Because earlier this year, I made an April Fool's joke saying that I would be completely switching away from electric bicycles and only covering electric motorized paddle boards. Well, not too long ago, I saw that the company Flipski was selling a high power motor and propeller kit specifically for watercrafts that use the paddleboard fin style mounting system. After some talking, they agreed to sell me this kit at a discount so I can make some videos on this product. And boy was I excited to film this thing. <laughs> This is not your typical paddleboard motor kit. Unlike some of the cheaper, low power, short range options out there, this thing packs a huge punch. <laughs> Today's video, I'll show you what comes with this kit, along with going into some details about the special controller and motor Flipski uses And then we'll get to the fun part where we take this thing out on the water for some testing. Top speed. Let's see what we get. Let's jump right in. So you can customize your controller to work exactly how you want. You're not locked into some specific settings. You can get in there and adjust almost anything in the controller and really make your electric vehicle act the way you want it to act. You're not locked in the way a manufacturer might set a controller up and you can't adjust anything. So if you want to go faster, you can make it go faster. You can make things accelerate faster. You can make things slower, whatever you want. The customization options are almost endless. And before we get to the test footage, I did want to mention that I barely did any setup and tinkering on the system. I first wanted to see what the out of the box experience was like. There are some settings you can choose in the remote control, but there's almost an overwhelming amount of tinkering you can do in the software for this motor. I actually didn't do any of that. And on full blast, my motor was showing that I was pushing a maximum of 1500 watts not even half of the advertised 4300 watts. So in the future, I will be tweaking the settings to make sure that this thing can run at full blast. And we're gonna see how fast this thing can go. Now for a paddleboard, this thing was already going pretty quick, but we're gonna truly test this thing out once I unlock its full potential. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the test footage. See you guys out in the water. into high mode. Here we go. <laughs> it's super abrupt when you stop it. Oh, it like jolts you forward. And that's mostly because of how much friction this paddleboard has in the water. It's not a very uh, hydrodynamic, fluid dynamic craft, I guess you could say. 
but this thing is crazy it's making a bunch of ripples in the water this thing is badass it is powerful the hardest part about this thing is steering so steering with these paddles isn't the greatest feeling you really have to kind of hold that paddle in place this thing is pretty powerful so if you had some kind of a rudder with this system that would be a lot better well let's keep going guys we're gonna bring it down to relax low mode cruise control and just relax we'll take it easy so when you're going slow steering isn't too bad you really just gotta put the paddle down on your hip and hold it there we're pretty good in the lowest setting but this thing likes to steer to the left and that might be because something under my paddleboard is just ever so slightly misaligned it's not straight and with speed that offset is just slightly amplified but i'm cool right here we're just hanging out the motor is quiet nobody can hear it unless you're up close and with the slow speed i can get a ton of range if i want to this is a big battery with mala cell cells these are very high-end cells very high amperage discharge rate so that means the battery itself is going to be very efficient it's not going to get hot it's not getting stressed out even under full load and right now i have cruise control on you can turn that off push of a button it's off and it looks like there's some paddlers up there if i want to turn the motor off and just paddle i can now i'm a normal paddleboard 